Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to my personal list of the top design software for Linux. If you're like me trying to ditch proprietary software and leave the Mac OS or Windows ecosystem, you know that Linux is the right answer. But unfortunately, professional applications like Sketch, Adobe XD or Affinity Designer are not available for Linux. So here's the full list of all the apps I tested and consider a suitable replacement for professional web designer. Inkscape. This vector design tool has been around forever and the kinda data UI of the app shows its age. Nonetheless, it's a valuable tool for native SVG editing and vector graphics. It's really powerful and stable, fully open source and native for Linux. And even if the UI is not the most appealing one, if you're used to modern interfaces like Sketch or Adobe XD, if you give it enough time, you'll get used to the various tools and different workflow and you'll find yourself able to accomplish pretty much anything. You can take a look at the GitHub repository mockups of Elementary OS to see all the amazing UI studies the designers did entirely in Inkscape. GIMP. Also, this one doesn't need any introduction. Widely used in the Linux community, it's still unfortunately perceived as a joke alternative to Photoshop due to its slow development, lack of features and overall outdated interface. But things are changing. GIMP 2.10 was recently released and the development has never been more active, with new versions, patches and improvements released almost monthly. It's a vital companion for photo retouching and even if the workflow is definitely not frictionless, building UI projects it's absolutely doable. Dark Table. If you need to edit images in batch, retouch photos or organize your camera folder, Darktable is the right choice. It can be compared to Lightroom, capable of handling raw images and non-disruptive photo editing. The UI is really intuitive and the learning curve is almost non-existent. Also in this case, if you give yourself enough time to learn the workflow and the various tools, you'll quickly discover how powerful this application can be. Krita. Even if this application is actually for digital painters, I found myself using it from time to time for quick UI or UX sketches. The brush engine is so powerful that it almost feels like drawing on paper. Sharing your quick paper prototypes with another designer as an image file, it's easier than scanning a scribble or taking pictures with your phone. It has an extremely active development roadmap with recent improvements to text and vector tools. Definitely worth having it in your tool belt. Gravit Designer. If you're used to Sketch or Adobe XD, opening Gravit Designer will feel like home. This app is specifically targeted towards UI and UX designers, with all the tools you need to build stunning websites. It supports pages and multiple artboards and exports in SVG format. The main drawback is the fact that it's an Electron app and therefore requires higher memory and CPU consumption. Their official Twitter account recently addressed this issue stating that around October 2018, a new version with a completely rebuilt engine will be released that will hopefully fix the major performance issues. I recommend saving your file often as I experience crashes while handling large projects with multiple artboards. I deliberately left out other browsers-based UI and prototyping tools like Webflow or Figma, valid and powerful alternatives for sure, but the fact that they cannot be installed on a distro and used completely offline, it's a huge red flag for me. And what do you think? Is it doable today being a designer and working only with Linux, or the currently available tools are still too far behind compared to the proprietary counterparts? Let me know in the comments below, and as usual, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. New video reviews and tutorials about Linux development and design are published every week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.